So for the past three weeks or so, I've been meaning to cut down this weed, and I know I'll probably never get around to it. So let's have some fun with it. Let's say this part right here where the part where it splits off is the top. That's, let's say, two inches below the threads on this rod that I stuck in the ground. Let's see, how, let's see how high it'll grow. So it's been about two weeks, and it's grown about a foot and a half now. This is the height of my head. That's as high as I can reach. That is really tall. I wonder how high it'll go. Well, only time can tell. It's getting pretty tall. I had to tie it to this pole, otherwise I think the wind might blow it over. And it looks like some bugs have been munching on it. And they're free to eat that. I don't care. It's, after all, it is just a weed. But, wow, it's getting tall. And it's starting to have little, like, blossom things on the end. It's pretty cool. There's some really big ones up on the top. So, the weed's finally gotten as tall as it'll go, and it's pretty much getting, uh, it's, it's fall time right now, so we should probably cut it down. But wow, that's gone pretty tall. Almost need a ladder to get up to it. Now what's really interesting is there's actually something laying on top of it when it was growing, and that made it deform. So now comes the time we shall cut it down. So on the inside of this, when you cut it away, you can see that there's a small like hall tube that goes inside of it. And that I, I believe that's actually an and a problem with it that's a sign that it was dying because it it's, hasn't really rained much in the past month and a half you can see there's a white like core surrounded by a lighter almost somewhat clear core or I should ring around it not core and then there's the outer layer and then there's the green skin on the outside now I'm not sure if only the leaves have photosynthesis happening inside of them or if the green stalks have that too. But the stalks has a, uh, or the trunk has a, uh, a lot of hairs on it. Now these are, I believe, to repel bugs, except for some bugs that like them, bugs that have long legs, like these ones. If you can see that, okay. These plants are covered in bugs, and they, uh, they started out as a little, look, look like ticks with really big legs. And then they turn into look like mosquitoes. And if we follow it down here, we can see that it actually does look quite a bit like a branch root or whatever. It's funny how weeds look a lot like trees and stuff like that. But down here we have the roots system with all the dirt still connected to it. Down here we can see this part. This this part of it actually looks extremely dry. So yeah. Then again, maybe, I'm curious if this had a disease, because um, a lot of these uh, leaves were shriveled up and have holes in them. So that might um, that might only be from these bugs, but it could also be just from it having a di disease. Because I, I believe that 80% of plants, or at least 80% of trees, have a disease of some sort. So I wouldn't be surprised that a weed or something like that would have a disease also. Well, this is kind of interesting. Right here, you can see there's a, like a seam going across there. And on this side down, it's all woody. And right here, there's another seam. And on this side, it's all green. But in between here, there's lines where it's going from green to thinning out. And right here, it's going from woody to thinning out. So it's like, this is like a connector piece right here. That it goes from the green to the woody. Let's cut that open and see what's inside of there. As you can see, that hollow part stays up in here through the uh, stalk. It's like the uh, little fragments of organic matter that are that can be pried out of it that are very loose in there. 
but on this side you can see there's like a, a thick layer out here and then there's a thick layer out here with uh, looks like healthy like wood almost but then up here which is actually the bottom of it there's like a really dark layer it look, looks like that might have been rotting or whatever and on this side you can see there's like like mold or something on there or maybe that's just part of the big the roots I don't know now here's a section of the middle part that I cut out I would like to inspect in our microscope maybe the inside is all white looks like it's made of styrofoam almost it's very interesting compared to the other stuff over here and it's covered in a lot more of those fibers compared to the woody uh, trunk of it. And here's the very top of the plant. It has a lot of like budding pieces inside of it, little seeds or whatever they are. Now if we look at the bottom of the spore tree or whatever it's called, I don't know, there's like a uh, collection of like little flowering bits, little flowers or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure what is exactly what. I believe these release pollen, and I believe these are maybe just flowers? I don't know. But then when we get over here, we have these little sections. These little pieces that have a little, look like a little flower full of pollen on it. This plant is full of these little bugs. Like right there. There's a little guy. Well, there was a something else living in this plant. Look at this spider. Holy cow. He's white! Hmm, doesn't like being tapped, I guess. <laughs> Here, we need something dark behind it to contrast well. There you go. You can really see the guy now. Boy, is he mad. <laughs> He's not happy at all. And he's gone. Evidently he has a little nest like right there, or had. <laughs> and all these other little clustered bugs is probably what that spider ate, because, well, you're going to live next to a buffet if you can, especially a free one full of nice and tasty bugs. Well, thanks for watching this video where I explored some random stuff growing in my backyard, like my cat. And I had a lot of fun, and I hope you learned something and had some fun too. Well, see you later. I'm going to go back to stalking my cat. Bye.